Hi, so today I want to quickly um, have a look at one of these energy saving LED light bulbs. This uh, model that you see here is a 220 volts model and it's supposed to last uh, a couple of years. This one lasted a couple of months so I think we're going to open it up and have a look, see inside what exactly went wrong. Looking at this, I think it should be fairly easy to open. Uh, the construction is fairly straightforward. It looks like the LEDs are basically mounted on a PCB and the PCB just slides in from the top here and it's got one panel uh, at the top which uh, is basically just a round PCB with a similar amount of LEDs on it. Okay, so give me a couple of minutes, let me uh, work on this a bit and let's see what I can do to open it up. Uh, the construction is uh, fairly straightforward as I thought. Uh, inside it looks to be fairly messy. Uh, there's quite a lot of wiring, a lot more than I would have thought for uh, a product uh, like this. Um, let's see if we can slide these out. Uh, I suspect Everything on the inside should be able to just come out. <coughs> Let's just bend away all these wires. Uh, there's the control circuit on the inside there. And look, it's not mounted on anything. It's just sort of sitting there. Let's see if we can fish it out. Oh. That's it. That's all there is. Nothing else inside. Don't know if you can see in there, but it's completely empty. Uh, apart, of course, from the uh, wiring uh, going down to the bottom of the lamp where the 220 volts uh, feed comes from. Uh, let's just have a look where those two wires are coming in. PCB, AC, there's a component there, and the DC out there. Got a capacitor, uh, some what is this? Another uh, high voltage capacitor, 400 volts, and a resistor. That's all there is. Okay, so let's uh, take a closer look at this PCB. Right, here's a close-up of that PCB. <clears throat> I'm focusing on the uh, capacitor specifically because there appears to have been some sort of an evacuation. Uh, of, of uh, I think uh, what might be some electrolytic uh, and I suspect if you have a look at the left leg of the capacitor there uh, let's uh, just get in a bit closer you can see uh, some uh, fluid has vented from the capacitor now I suspect uh, that this capacitor is no longer functional uh, let's quickly measure it and make sure that uh, this is the component that failed. We'll also check the other components and maybe we can even repair this light. Here's the ev evacuation that I was talking about. It looks like there's some sort of a, a fluid that's that's been leaking out here uh, and I think it's been coming from the capacitor. Apart from that, there really isn't anything else that could have gone wrong here. Let's quickly check out the component on the other side. MB6S and that is simply a full wave rectifier. So it rectifies the 220 volt coming in to the circuit, converts it over to DC and uh, pushes it out to the LEDs. So quite likely these LEDs are all in series Okay, let's quickly just measure the capacitance of these two capacitors. Uh, let's start with the high voltage one over here. Now oh, that's uh, one and a half microfarads. And the big one here. Now this should be 
10 microfarads. So this is a 10 microfarad capacitor. Uh, it's rated at 400 volts and clearly something has gone wrong with this capacitor. Hmm. While I was trying to measure this capacitor I sort of realized something. Uh, it's actually the one leg there where the evacuation occurred is completely loose. So this capacitor has definitely seen better days. Uh, it's definitely not even uh, making contact on the inside anymore. Uh, yeah. Now I've just quickly hooked up uh, one of these PCB strips to uh, my bench power supply. Uh, and I'm feeding it around about 15, 15 volts DC. Uh, and you can see these LEDs are actually uh, made up of three elements. I can just come in a bit closer here. Each element effectively consists of three tiny little LEDs. Uh, let's just pump up the power here. And that's actually really, really, really bright. It's uh, illuminating the whole of my uh, bench at the moment. Uh, and it's, uh, let me see, oh, it's drawing a very small amount of current, uh, so small that I can't really see it on my analog meter here. Let's see how much it's actually drawing. Now that's drawing about 5 milliamps. All right, I think that's probably all I'm going to be doing with this lamp. It was just interesting to see what the failure mode was. Uh, definitely the capacitor again. And uh, also quite interesting to see how really efficient these LEDs are. Let's just quickly take a look at the circuit. The AC feeds in on this side. It's labeled like that. And uh, but the, the AC does not feed directly into this uh, full wave rectifier. Uh, first it goes off to this side, feeds through these, the, the uh, one and a half microfarad capacitor uh, up to the top and then from there it feeds into the AC input of the full, full wave rectifier. Okay, I quickly drew out the circuit here uh, just so that uh, I can understand it. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, the 220 volt comes in here. There's a 280k and the 1.5 microfarad capacitor, uh, which I'm assuming is some sort of a filter, uh, going straight into the full wave uh, bridge rectifier, then off to the 10 microfarad uh, capacitor for some smoothing, which then goes to the LEDs. The lamp itself has got six sides, uh, each side carries six LEDs and that gives us a total of 36 LEDs plus nine LEDs on the uh, front uh, ceiling panel, so it's give, it gives you a, 40, a total of uh, 45 uh, LEDs. Okay, if we calculate the DC voltage on, on this side, uh, it would be 220 uh, times the square root of 2 uh, for a pure sine wave which gives us around about 310 uh, volts DC so it's still within the limits of the capacitor uh, that that the smoothing capacitor over there however uh, it seems the capacitor is not the greatest quality and it failed prematurely so there's the capacitor manufacturer what's that Cheng X Chinks Alright guys, I don't think I'm going to be repairing this specific lamp. Uh, I really don't think there's uh, any merit to it. But it was interesting to see what it's uh, made of and uh, what it looks like on the inside. If you guys want to see more of these videos, give this one a thumbs up and I'll continue making them. Thanks for watching.